call customer service. Listen, kid. You sound like a young kid to this creaky old crank. So, I want you to understand something. I still look for a number pad every time I pick up a phone. The idea of a drone blinking at me while delivering a package hovering outside my second story bedroom window still creeps me out. <laughs> and I'm still not sure how my fridge knows I'm out of ketchup before I do. Now, shut up and listen for a minute, kid. It shouldn't take me more than a couple. Look, uh, hell, kid, I remember when Google was just a search engine and all Amazon sold was books, now, physical books. Now, I'm sure I sound as quaint and nostalgic to you as my parents did to me when they talked about the, the clink of the milkman's delivery on the front step and how they'd lick the spot of cream off the cap of the glass bottle. Never mind, kid, doesn't matter. Look, well, what I'm trying to say is, I, I may be old, but in my day, I was willing enough to adopt new technology I got in on the iPhone in its second generation. Hell, hell, I even got Google Glass when it was still considered cool. <laughs> I'm telling you, kid, a few dozen idiots break their nose on an oak and a trend just dies. But, uh, you know, this, uh, this Amazon nose service, it, it really threw me, well and truly. Oh, don't get me wrong, I went with it when my daughter got me the GIF subscription, and it, it is amazing. I really mean that. I mean, even if it's a little uncanny. I mean, I never thought I'd get into solar punk, but when the stories started popping up on my old e-reader, I couldn't get enough. And, uh, sure. I got a bit suspicious of what kind of racket you were running when a new fuel cell showed up slung underneath a drone because it was the week after the one in my car finally went kaput. I couldn't argue with the convenience, though. Listen, kid, I, uh, I still paid the subscription after the, uh, <clears throat> enhancement pills started showing up. Sure, I, I was offended at first, but I didn't realize how much off my game I really was. I even stuck with you after it got down like creepy. I couldn't figure out why you sent me that old copy of Home Plumbing Repair. I stared at it for a good hour, just turning it over in my hands. And then I heard a clang from the kitchen, and there was the floor under two inches of water. I thought you'd invented a time machine. <laughs> it was only with that one last month, dealing with grief after divorce, that I called to complain. I'm afraid I ripped into poor Charlotte. You two kids work in the same building? Listen, apologize to her for me, would you? Just tell her that the, the papers get signed next month, and, well, that book, it really helped me through. So listen, I, I, I want you to know, you made a believer out of me. I just still don't understand how something as simple as data could be so powerful. Uh, no, no, I, I'm, I'm not calling a complaint. Not this time. It's just this latest book, Quick and Simple Estate Planning, I have to know. How much time do I have, kid? How does it happen? Honorable! <laughs> But...
if I can steal just a half second more of your time, that story is by a man named Adam Pratt. It's called Customers Also Bought. He's an amazing writer and a dear friend of mine. Can we get one more cheer for him? Because I want to show it to him later. And get him here to read one himself.